Greetings from the ThemeRex team. Today we will create a WordPress forum for just 15 minutes. We will use the Anesta WordPress theme and two plugins, BBPress and BuddyPress. Anesta is a premium WordPress theme that has various demos and features. It was crafted for intranet, extranet, forums, community, social networks, news, online learning, etc. It is currently the best theme for any kind of community-oriented project. So, let's get it started. I have a totally fresh WordPress installation on my server. Let's go to Appearance, Themes, and click on Add New Theme, then Upload and Choose File. Let's choose the file and click Install Now. Once installed, click Activate. Now we need to install and activate the ThemeRex add-ons plugin. Excellent! The next step is to activate the theme. We need to fill in the activation data and click Submit. Perfect! We are in the setup wizard. We just need to follow instructions. First, let's install the child theme. Upload the theme, choose the file, and then install and activate it. Good! Now we can start the setup. Here we can enable special add-ons. Let's enable BuddyPress widgets and we can move to the next step. As we can see, we have an active, updated skin, so everything here is good and we can move on. In the next step, we need to install plugins. Let's simply choose all of them and click Install and Activate. It will take some time, so don't close the window. Great! In the next step, we can import demo data partially or in full. Let's make a full demo import. Please note that it will overwrite all the content that was previously generated on your website, so it works only for fresh installations. Again, it takes some time, so don't close your browser. Perfect. In the final stage, you can customize some essential settings. I will simply click Finish. Good. The theme and the demo content have been installed successfully. In the right bottom corner, you can use the AI support chat if you need immediate assistance. It is very knowledgeable and it is trained on the theme's official documentation. Let's go to the front end of our website. As we can see, it is exactly like we saw it on the demo. On the left side menu, we can navigate through different demos and pages of our site, but we are specifically interested in forums. Here we can see different topics in our forums. By using these breadcrumbs, we can also go to all demo forums. Here we can see forums, a number of topics, and posts. If we click on one of them, we can see the group related to the forum and topics covered by the forum, and since we are under the admin account, we also can create our own topics within this forum. You can also see that each group has its homepage, forum, documents, members, and more. So, let's go back to the dashboard and see where we can control all of this. First, navigate Dashboard Forums. Here you can see all the forums, add new ones, edit, close, and delete existing ones. When you open the forum, you can add the description and change its type, status, and visibility. Also, you can set the hierarchy of the forum, change its order in the forums list, add moderators, and control those who subscribe to the forum. The next menu is Topics. Each forum may have multiple raised topics. You can see the forum it belongs to, the number of replies, voices, etc. Each topic may have a special type and status. You can also send the topic to another forum if it was initially raised in the wrong spot. Below you can also see replies, users who made this topic a favorite, and users who subscribe to it. In the replies menu, you can see all the comments across all the forums and topics. You can edit, disapprove, or even trash these comments if they are not appropriate. The next menu is Activity. Here you will see the log of all activities on your forums. For now, it's empty, since we just started. The Groups menu allows you to organize your users into groups by their interests. Users can join or leave these groups. Next, Navigate Settings, BuddyPress. 
In this menu, you can control settings related to your user management, profiles, messages, activity, notifications, etc. In the forums menu, you can control settings related to the behavior on your forum. Roles, security, editing, revisions, moderation, tags, engagement, post formatting, permalinks, and more. And the Docs menu. You can allow your users to create and modify documents on forums. In this menu, you will see them and control them using the Settings submenu. Now, let's go to our front end and test it. We will go to our forum and copy the link. Since we are logged in as admins here, let's open this link in incognito mode. By default, users will see the login form on our website. For now, to make it easier, let's just disable this login form. Let's go back and click Customize on our top panel. Then click on Login Privacy, disable the Login Privacy Protection, and Publish Changes. Good, now let's return to our new user and refresh the page. Excellent. Now new visitors will see my site without having to log in. By default, users can only log in but cannot register a new user. Let's quickly enable this feature. Navigate Dashboard, General Settings, and under Membership Check, anyone can register and save the changes. Perfect. Now let's go back to our new user and again refresh the page. Great, the Register tab is unlocked. It is crucial to have an account because if visitors go to the forum, they will not be able to do anything, create posts or comment on them, as they need to be logged in. So, let's click on Register and fill in the information. Username, email, password and repeat the password. Now the site has sent the email with the confirmation link. Let's open this mail in a new window. Copy the link and use it on our browser. Great, it is confirmed and redirected us to the website, so let's log in. Good, it says it will refresh the page in three seconds. First, let's check our profile. Here we can see lots of things like activity, notifications, direct messages, friends, groups, forums, docs, and media. Below, we can edit our profile. Let's change the photo. We can upload it from our computer and then crop the proper size. We can also change our cover image, like on Facebook. We can upload our image and it will become a cover of our profile. And we can also provide our name. Excellent, we've created our profile and let's go to our forums. We will open one of the topics. As we can see it belongs to the art photographers group, so let's join it. We can leave it if we want. Here we can check forums, docs, members, invites, and media. We can see that there are five members.
We also see that there are already three topics. Let's create our own topic. We will do something very basic. Let's add the topic title and the topic message. We will also add some tags. We can also enable notifications for this topic. Now, let's submit it. Perfect, it was created. We can see the author, title, and message. We can subscribe to the topic and make it a favorite for our account. In the Invites menu, we can send invitations when we make some friends on the forum. We will do it later. Also, a very popular feature is Documents. You can create and modify documents within your groups and forums. Here we already have one demo document. Let's create a new one. Let's add the title, Anesta Documentation. And let's copy the text from the official Anesta's documentation. We will select a big chunk of the text and then simply paste it into the editor. As you can see, it accepts the essential markup and looks good. We can also attach some files and choose necessary settings, like associated groups of users who can read and edit the document, who can comment on it, and much more. Let's click Save. And if we go to All Docs, we will find our doc and its details there. We can read the doc, edit it, and check its history. So, let's make some minor modifications and simply add two words to the first line. Again, save the changes and return to all files. Now, if we go to history, we will see two revisions and each of them can be restored. Let's mark which one is old and which one is new and compare these revisions. It will show you what was exactly changed in our document and who was the author of the changes. Now, let's return to our forum and switch to our admins window. If we go to our forum as admin, we will see that there is a new topic created by Leonard. Let's open it and let's write something as a reply to Leonard's post. Now, let's go back to Leonard's window and refresh the page. Cool, we have our first notification. If we open it, we can see all the details about it. The author, date and time, and the message itself. If we go back to our profile, we can see that we already have an activity on one forum and one raised topic. And if we go to Docs, we will find our Anesta documentation. We still don't have friends on this forum, and we also don't have any direct messages. Let's go back to Forum Notifications and find Admin. If we click on it, we can see his profile details. On the top of the screen, we can send a friend request and send a message. So, let's do that. Here we have our message history and the message field. Let's use it. Now, we will switch back to the admins window and refresh the page. Okay, now we are in the admins profile. On the top, we have some notifications. One of them is the friend's request. Let's open it and accept the request. When we switch back to Leonard, refresh the page and go to Notifications. We will notice that the admin accepted our request and we now have our first friend.
This way, you can create your forum website with the free plugins, BBPress and BuddyPress. Hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe to our channel for more useful tutorials.